who changed the world. Blossom the cow. In 1796, Sarah Nelms and her cow, Blossom, both became sick with a disease called cowpox. Some people said anyone who got cowpox once would never get it again. Dr. Edward Jenner wondered if giving a boy cowpox could help him be protected from smallpox too. The doctor tried and succeeded. Now thanks to Dr. Jenner, Sarah, and Blossom, the disease that once killed 300 million people is gone for good. Did you know? The word vaccine comes from the Latin word vaca, meaning cow. Sergeant Stubby. One day in 1917, a stray puppy found his way into the midst of World War I. A soldier named Robert Conroy fell in love with the little dog and let him stay, calling him Stubby because he was so small. Stubby learned to do tricks, like salute the soldiers, but he also did brave things that saved lives. During his 17 battles, Stubby alerted soldiers to dangerous gas attacks, helped medics find the wounded, and comforted injured men. Once, Stubby even captured a German spy. Did you know? In 1921, when Robert went to study law at Georgetown University, Stubby came along with him and became the school mascot. Share a me, the carrier pigeon. During World War I, before cell phones made communication easy, the United States used carrier pigeons to deliver secret messages across long distances. One pigeon was called Cher Ami, meaning dear friend in French. Cher Ami carried 12 important messages during the war. On his last journey, although he was badly injured, the little pigeon successfully delivered a message that led to the rescue of 194 missing soldiers, known as the Lost Battalion. Did you know? During World War I, the U.S. Army enlisted the help of about 600 carrier pigeons to deliver secret messages. the bear. One day, a soldier named Harry Colburn came upon a beautiful black bear cub being held by a trapper. Harry felt concerned and bought her from the man for $20. Harry was a soldier heading off to war. The bear, whom he named Winnie, after his hometown of Winnipeg, sailed with him on a ship to France. Before long, Winnie became so big, Harry had to take her to the London Zoo, where zoo-goers were allowed to feed and play with her. That's where she met a boy named Christopher Robin. The friendship inspired Christopher's father to write Winnie the Pooh, which has been a favorite children's story around the world since 1926. Did you know? The real Christopher Robin actually had a teddy bear he named Winnie. 
along with a stuffed donkey, pig, tiger, and kangaroo, which inspired the characters Eeyore, Piglet, Tigger, and Roo. Togo the Sled Dog. In 1925, a terrible sickness called diphtheria broke out in the tiny Alaskan village of Nome. The town was too remote for planes or ships to access during the winter. People were dying, and more were getting sick every day. The only team that could quickly bring the life-saving serum was a group of Siberian sled dogs. Although a dog named Balto led the final team of the relay to deliver the serum, Togo was chosen to lead the longest and most dangerous stretch of 261 miles. Running through snow, Crossing Frozen Sea, Togo and the other sled teams completed a relay of about 675 total miles to save the village of 1,400 people. Did you know? The trip to deliver the serum to Nome got as cold as minus 85 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 65 degrees Celsius and took seven days with drivers who, at times, could not even see the dogs in front of them because the weather was so bad. Sea Cat Simon. In 1948, a ship in the British Royal Navy was docked in Hong Kong when a sailor smuggled a cat on board. The other sailors adopted him too, naming him Sea Cat Simon. Simon was injured in an attack, but he never lost his special ability to comfort wounded sailors and boost morale. Most helpful, Simon wiped out a major infestation of rats on the ship, protecting their food supplies and keeping everyone on board healthier. The sailors, grateful for his efforts, hailed Simon a hero. Did you know? When Simon returned home to Great Britain, he became an instant celebrity and received many letters from adoring fans. Abel and Baker, the Space Monkeys. In 1959, two monkeys named Abel and Baker were chosen for a special mission. They were going to outer space. On their rocket, a Jupiter missile, Abel and Baker flew into the sky, 360 miles above Earth, at more than 10,000 miles per hour. They safely arrived back home to Earth, proving that mammals could survive space flight. Thanks to Abel and Baker, scientists had the confidence to move forward with space exploration, sending a man to the moon, launching an international space station, and studying the possibility of life on Mars. Did you know? Two years after Abel and Baker returned, the first human, a Russian cosmonaut, launched into space and orbited the Earth for 108 minutes. Coco, the Signing Gorilla. In 1971, a gorilla named Coco was born. A student named Penny Patterson wondered if Coco could learn to communicate with humans through sign language. 
Coco surprised everyone by learning more than a thousand signs. When her pet cat died, Coco showed her ability to feel by making the signs for cry, have sorry, and Coco love. Coco forever changed our understanding of how much we have in common with our animal friends. Did you know? Coco's full name was Hanabiko, Japanese for fireworks child, because she was born at the San Francisco Zoo on the 4th of July. all change the world for the better in their own unique ways. What will you do to change the world? If you don't have books, what are you waiting for? It's a kid-safe, ad-free library full of storybooks brought to life. My favorite story on books is the unicorn and horse because the horse feels like he's, well, not beautiful, but he actually is. I'm going to explore more on books, and you should too. Don't wait around. Ask your grown-up and start exploring more fun stories like these. You'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching. For more stories, try the Books app for free today.